Hello, Blake Rudis here with EverydayHDR.com and HDRinsider.com. And today I want to talk about real quick this beautiful pink screen that you get in Photomatix Pro every once in a while. Maybe you have, maybe you've never gotten it. Now this pink screen happens when you try to drag and drop uh, one or more RAW files into Photomatix that are newer than the version of Photomatix that you own. So for instance, right now I'm in Photomatix Pro 4.1. This is an older version of Photomatix Pro. And I try to drag and drop a RAW file from a Canon EOS 6D. Now, it's not reading it properly because that Canon 6D codec is relatively new compared to this Photomatix Pro software. So if you own an old version of Photomatix Pro and you try to bring somebody else's brackets into your uh, Photomatix Pro, what you, what you may find is that you get this pink screen if their camera happens to be newer than your version of Photomatix. And how this comes about, uh, the reason why I get so many questions about this is on HDR Insider, I offer brackets for people to download and work on. So, you know, my camera being relatively new, it came out maybe last year this time, um, they might be running an older version of Photomatix Pro that can't support the codec that's in the Canon EOS 6D uh, RAW file. Now that RAW file is still a .CR2, just like the 5D Mark III and 5D Mark II, but it's just a slightly different codec that doesn't allow um, Photomatix to read it unless it's updated. So there's an easy way to fix that. You just close out of here and go to the help and go to check for updates and go to the download site. So then it's going to tell you here that the uh, latest version of Photomatix Pro is 5.0.1 at 64-bit or 32-bit if you have it working in Windows. Uh, and you're, go you're free to go ahead and download that and once you do you will come to uh, let's see, in Photomatix Pro 5.0 with the exact same photos. We now have the ability to edit these raw files. So that was your really short, quick, easy tutorial. Uh, and you may have never seen this problem, but when you do come across it, you're like, ah, uh, what am I supposed to do? Because when I bought my Canon EOS 6D and I tried to process it in my Photomatix Pro, I was stumped. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I just got this brand new camera and I can't even HDR with it. Well, luckily for me, I went ahead and checked for the updates and found out that I had the wrong version of Photomatix Pro at the time. So, to avoid some heartache for you, that's what you may come up with. Again, I'm Blake Rudis with EverydayHDR.com and HDRInsider.com.